It's been 50 years ago today since the Sioux Falls woman mysteriously disappeared. Elabeth Lodemeyer was reported missing on March 7, 1974 by her estranged husband. Jean Lodemeyer was the main suspect and even failed a lie detector test, but was never charged in her disappearance or possible death. It's a case Coverland Investigates has been following for five decades, and now police are once again asking for your help. Ella Beth Lodemeyer was last seen at her house on North Indiana Avenue by her husband, Gene, the evening of March 6, 1974. Gene, who passed away in 2013, was always considered a person of interest in her disappearance, and here's why. According to court papers, Gene had mentally and physically abused her, even beating her with her own shoe. Ella Beth had filed for divorce. A friend who she confided in told him that she was terrified of Gene and was ready to move on. She had commented more than once, you're not going to take anything away from him. That's his. So when she wanted to leave, he felt that that was his. You're not going to take that away from me. Kelloland Investigates interviewed Detective Pat Murtis, who picked up the cold case almost 10 years ago. He says seven months after she disappeared, Ella Beth's credit cards turned up at a train station in Manitoba, Canada. In 1992, Ella Beth's wallet and checkbook turned up along the Big Sioux River just east of Sioux Falls. Authorities searched that area extensively. Her niece, who we interviewed a few years ago, thought investigators were on to something. I really believe she is out there. We just need to find the right spot. I feel like somebody knows something and I just want them to come forward and so we can have closure. I mean, that's the biggest thing is we want closure. We want to know where she's at so we can take her and put her where she belongs. And that's why now, 50 years later, police are once again putting out a plea. We're just uh, hoping the 50 year anniversary of this case will maybe bring some more attention. Um, hopefully some tips will come in. We're just looking for any information. Um, and this is one of those types of cases where really no piece of information is too small. After Ella Beth disappeared, Gene Lodemeyer spent time in prison for grand theft. In 1989, he was accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill people involved in the case, including police officers and the judge. Those charges were eventually dropped. Uh, Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton takes a look at other cold cases in our area. It's online now.